I built this tiny little plane here. Um, just double layered foam. I actually didn't take any measurements. I just kind of had a look according to engine size. That's about, seemed about right. It, this engine still runs on 22 volts. It's an 800 kV Porcupine RC. 3D printed uh, motor mount. So I designed it to slide right up in here like this. Pinch on both sides. Should hold fast and pretty good. So it's a 36 inch wingspan. And it's about 25 inches from there to there. So when I, I calculated on the, on the website that you can check uh, CG calculator online from here to here being 25 and then 36 inch wingspan and then from here to the tip I think it was 23 but anyways it came to CG came to 13 and a half inches like I didn't factor this here in so I'm not sure if it's actually going to make a difference I made this a lot smaller because of the motor and also I've got 11 volt batteries. I'm gonna run them in series, putting them back to 22 volts again. I've got my Turnigy uh, 100 amp ESC. I've got my Tyrannus receiver in here and a couple of servos. I don't think I had to use servos this big, but pretty much all I got is either these or tiny ones. So I wanna make sure that these things still it still maneuvers as as required. Should be good. Well, it's in the air. It's a little bit nose heavy, but it's really actually not bad. Let's straighten that out. Got a lot of power pulling up. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? I went in with a, for a corkscrew and that thing just took a nasty death spiral. Where are you? Oh, there you are. See a little bit of nose damage. It's actually not too bad. Yeah, it took a little bit of a hit, but I put carbon fiber rods inside here. See how thin this here is? Would have never handled this kind of crash, but it did now. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, comment and stay tuned for more.